uh, said France's biggest ever terrorism trial has begun uh, for 20 men accused of being involved in the 20, November 2015 Paris attacks, including the only surviving suspected attacker. More than 130 people died in the attack and hundreds more were injured. It began at the Stade de France when three jihadists detonated their explosive belts during a capacity uh, crowd football match between France and Germany. A coach driver died in the attack. 99 people were killed when a second group of jihadists drove through the 10th and 11th districts opening fire at people having drinks and dinner outside bars and restaurants. A third group uh, stormed the Bataclan Theatre where a rock concert was being held. 90 people died in the assault there. This was a scene earlier outside the specially constructed courtroom in the historic Palais de Justice where the men are standing trial. This convoy arriving at the court was believed to be carrying the only surviving gunman, Salah Abdul Salam. Our Paris correspondent Lucy Williamson has this report. It was a night with no safe haven, when no one knew where to run. When gunmen brought chaos to Paris's bars and restaurants, its football stadium, the Bataclan Concert Hall. Stéphane lost his son Hugo that night at the Bataclan. No trial, he says, can heal the pain. It was something complicated because it's First of all, a personal loss, because of the loss of a, of a child, my son. And it's also a collective loss. And then it was sometimes difficult to manage these two situations. 20 defendants are accused of murder, complicity and terrorist conspiracy. Salah Abdeslam, the only suspected attacker to survive that night, is facing the most serious charges. 19 others are accused of involvement including Mohamed Abrini, who prosecutors say accompanied the attackers to Paris from their home in Belgium. Six of the accused are being tried in absentia. And for a unique event, a unique location. This temporary courtroom, built exclusively for the trial, sits within the historic Court of Justice in Paris. The light colours have been chosen to promote a sense of calm. There's a secure box for the defendants and 10 cameras to record the trial for France's national history. The trauma of that night has continued to ripple through France. Six years on, what will it mean to see Salah Abdeslam standing in the dock? You know, you just imagine uh, uh, the devil. You just imagine somebody with a strong intellectual, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but people will say, uh, that's this kind of man who have done so awful things. Stefan says he doesn't need to see the key defendant, but he wants Abdeslam to see him. After six years, it's very important for me to face him and to face the other and to say, OK, look at me. I'm there. I'm alive. My son is not there, but through me, he's still here. We are still standing. You didn't win. For Stefan, this trial marks the moment when national trauma becomes national history. Easier for a nation to move on, he says, than for him. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Paris.